Hi, my name is Sergio Cuevas. I'm the program manager for Emerging Vets and Players Los Angeles. Emerging Vets and Players is a nonprofit organization that provides peer-to-peer -peer support and transitional support for combat veterans and former professional athletes. Who's got my back? We're located in eight different cities across the country, and we run weekly program for all our veterans and members. Basically, what we try to do is assist veterans and athletes build that community, build that camaraderie, find that purpose and unit cohesion, essentially, and bring a little bit of accountability back to their lives. Uh, a lot of veterans struggle when they lose a sense of their identity, purpose, and camaraderie. And so what we do is when we run our weekly sessions, we bring them back together. We do a little 45 minute workout, a little light workout, get a little endorphins going and raise our blood pressure, get off the couch essentially. And then we sit down and we do what's called a huddle where we talk about whatever's going on in our life. It could be a transitional challenge. It could be what we're starting to notice now is a lot of childhood trauma, which is starting to come back as they're making their journey through their healing process and help them continue to grow and heal throughout their life. Emerging Vets and Players has definitely noticed a lot of societal challenges that are going on. And, you know, when it comes to MVP, one thing we like to do is we try not to focus on individuals' personal beliefs and or views when it comes to the society because we are bringing in two different professions. Again, we're bringing in combat veterans, veterans in general, as well as former professional athletes. They come from two different worlds but we also have the same challenges as individuals. And that's what the goal is. That's what the purpose is, is to bring us together and help build each other up and guide each other through these challenges and these obstacles. We continuously look at the trends. We continuously look at uh, what our members are struggling with when they are out there, you know, and we have a lot of new members that have recently joined. I have a lot of members that have served 20, 25 years in the military and the biggest thing that we're seeing is that camaraderie that accountability and that stability um, when you don't have stability like you did while you were in the military it's hard for you to care for yourself but also your families especially when it comes to the families uh, that's something that we're really trying to hammer down on and and provide a lot of support we're do, we do monthly uh, program now so that we can bring in the families, the kids and the spouses so that they can help uh, really understand what's going on with their veteran and their athlete and be able to communicate better with when it comes to these challenges and transitions. Um, and so the, cha the numbers are always going to fluctuate at the end of the day, but there's always some underlying uh, um, factors that take place and between and you kind of bring it back to what you were talking about when the societal changes or challenges um you look at housing uh you look at financials our veterans they still struggle with that as well you know they they come off of being able to support their family while in the military and now they get out and they're they're having these challenges out here it's added pressure and it's it's definitely something that is uh we take into consideration when we when we work with our veterans and our members MVP has definitely uh, noticed a trend when it comes to the transitioning service members and our members in general. Um, the transition for their families, uh, the struggle that not just uh, weighs in on the, the member, but also the, the, the spouses and the children. You know, you look at the financials, you look at the housing stability, and then on top of that, you have the workforce, you know, trying to maintain a steady job. A lot of veterans, a lot of our members, they, you know, you get out of the military, you get out of the sports and you lose that, you lose that cohesion, that team, uh, uh, that team bond you have. MVP does absolutely see a lot of uh, room for improvements in other areas. We have a number of veterans and uh, that just continuously struggle when it comes to family support. In Los Angeles, the housing is so difficult. It's a hardship, honestly, for a lot of veterans out here that can't work because of their injuries and, you know, have that one income.
that they're trying to work with and it's just adding more more and more pressure i think that's just one area that we need to do better at as a community mvp is definitely doing a lot more um when it comes to pr finding the resources getting the support out there for veterans and families um our coaches assisting our, our clinic clinical coach is assisting um finding the resource our resource director is out there and we're definitely pulling in a lot more family resources um when it comes to and then also being a resource ourselves um making ourselves more accessible to the the family members to the spouses has definitely grown thank you jeff thank you direct tv for having merging vets and players on thank you viewers for tuning in and learning more about merging vets and players nonprofit organization designed to bring combat veterans and former professional athletes together to kind of help reinstill that team the camaraderie that purpose and that accountability and identity if you're interested in learning more about merging vets and players please visit mergingvetsandplayers.org click on become a member or if you're not a veteran or an athlete and you're interested in, in assisting merging vets and players go ahead and click the volunteer tab and apply for uh, become a volunteer we'd love to have your support and we'd love to have more of you veterans and athletes out there join our program and help the movement to help save each other my, my, my.